Welcome to the Neuronauts Classroom. In today's video, we are going to explore how your brain knows how to talk. The language inside your brain. Today we are going to find out how clever your brains are. There are lots of things our brains know how to do for us, and some of them are things we don't even know we know. This boy is asking, how do I know how to talk? What do you think our brains need to know for us to be able to talk? We need to know the words. We need to know how to put the words together to make sentences. We need to be able to make the sounds. This girl is saying, let's find out. Let's find out about two important things our brains know for us to be able to talk. To do that, we are going to learn some made-up words for funny things we can do. Ready? Look! This dog knows how to glong. He's been practicing how to glong for weeks. Can you all say that? He can glong. What does the dog have to do to glong? He needs to stand on one leg. He needs to keep his balance. He can't fall over. Knowing how to glong sure looks tricky. Yesterday he did the same thing. Yesterday he glonged. Yes, what did you say? Let's listen again. Yesterday he glonged. Oh, right, he glonged. Hmm, you added a sound to glong when the dog did it yesterday. Listen again. This dog can glong. Yesterday, he glonged. What sound did you add? Yesterday, he glonged. What sound? D. How did you know how to do that? Have you ever heard the word glong before? No. Have you ever heard the word glonged before? No. But you all agree that we say, yesterday, he glonged. That's what everyone said, right? Yes! Wow, your brain knew what to do, even though you had never heard of the word glong before. Amazing! Now let's look at another funny thing to do. These people know how to rick. Can you all say that? They can... Rick! What do you have to do to rick? They need to stand on each other's hands. Keep their balance. They need to be strong to hold each other up. Stand up straight. It looks pretty tricky to Rick too. Yesterday they did the same thing. Yesterday they... Ricked! Yes. What did you say? Let's listen again. Yesterday they... Ricked! Oh, right. Yesterday they Ricked. You did it again. You added a sound to Rick when they did it yesterday. Listen again. These people know how to rick. Yesterday, they ricked. But wait a minute. I'm not sure it's the same sound as before. What sound did you add? Let's listen. Yesterday, they ricked. Yesterday, they ricked. What sound? <coughs> but that's not the same sound you used for glonged. How did you know how to do that? Have you ever heard the word Rick before? No! Have you ever heard the word Ricked before? No! But you all agree that we say, Yesterday they Ricked. That's what everyone said, right? Yes! Wow! Your brain knew it had to do something different, even though you had never heard of the word Rick before. That's even more amazing! Let's look at one more funny thing to do. This girl knows how to spell. She can spell really well. Can you all say that? She can spell. What does she have to do to spell? She needs to hang upside down. Her toes point at the ground. She needs to keep her arms and legs straight. I think it looks like fun to spell. Yesterday she did the same thing. Yesterday she 
Spelled. Yes. What did you say? Let's listen again. Yesterday she spelled. All oh, right. Yesterday she spelled. Let's see what sound you added this time. Listen again. This girl knows how to spell. Yesterday she spelled. Wait a minute. Was that a t or a d this time? Let's listen. Yesterday she spelled. She spelled. What sound? D. Your brains are so clever. How did you know how to do that? Have you ever heard the word spell before? No. Have you ever heard the word spelled before? No. But you all agree that we say yesterday she spelled. That's what everyone said, right? Yes. Wow. So sometimes we choose t for things we did yesterday. What sound? T. And sometimes we choose d. What sound? D. How do we know which one to choose? Do we have to remember whether it is t or d for every word we ever hear? Let's see. Here is someone sneezing. Maybe you learned that when they did that yesterday, you say they sneezed. Sneezed. What sound? D. Okay. Remember d for sneeze. Now here is someone smiling. Maybe you learned that when they did that yesterday, you say they smiled. Smiled. What sound? D. Okay. Remember d for smile. And here are some people walking. If they did that yesterday, you say they walked. Walked. What sound? T. Okay. Remember that too. We use t for walk. Oh, this is getting tricky. I don't know if I can remember this for every single thing we can do. And what if I don't know the word for something we can do? What happens then? We just found out what happens. We found out by making up words that we are sure nobody has heard of before. Words like glong and rick and spell. It turns out you knew how to say someone did these funny things yesterday, even though you had never heard of them before. If a dog can glong, then yesterday he glonged. If people can rick, then yesterday they ricked. If a girl can spell, then yesterday she spelled. Phew! Luckily, we don't have to remember which sound to use every time we want to talk about doing something yesterday. Our brains just know what to do. They have learned a rule. They know a rule for talking about doing things yesterday or any time in the past. And you didn't even know it. Scientists can find out about the language rules our brains know by doing tests like this one. Maybe you would like to be a glong rick spell scientist one day. You could even make up a funny word for doing that special kind of science. What would your word be? Thank you for joining us at the Neuronauts Classroom for this video. If you enjoyed it, please check out our other videos about how your brain works. For more information, links and worksheets, please go to ccd.edu.au where you can also find more information about the Neuronauts Brain Science Club and how you can help scientists learn more about how your brain works.